Greetings from the border of the United States of America and Canada. Hey everybody, it's Ryan Wolowski. I'm about to walk out of the United States of America into Canada. Now you don't actually have to show any ID to leave the country. You just walk through these gates and once you're halfway across the bridge, you're actually in Canada, but you will need your passport to come back. Uh, here it is, enjoy. Pedestrians to Canada. And here is the beautiful maple leaf, which you may recognize from the Canadian flag. traffic leaving the United States of America entering into Canada. There's the beautiful Skyline Tower. Now if you're trying to figure out exactly how far is this bridge where you can walk across to Canada from Niagara Falls, I'm going to show you in just a second. Maybe it took 5-10 minutes to walk here from the falls and I'll take, show you a shot right now from the bridge. There is the Maid of the Mist going out. So there is Niagara Falls. Right here you could see this area of the New York State Park, which would actually be the United States of America. And now if you look past the observation deck, you see the falls here with the Maid of the Mist underneath, that would be Canada. And you can see it's a, it's a park on the United States of America side, whereas Canada is much more built up for tourism, gambling, hotels, duty-free shops. I was told the border inspections uh, took about 20 minutes from folks who I just spoke to on the U.S. side who crossed back from Canada. But that's not a guarantee. Depending on how many people are online, could be an hour, could be two hours. It's a holiday weekend in the United States right now, the Memorial Day weekend. And there appears to be a lot of people going into Canada, but it doesn't look like a lot are coming back. But I was told it's about a 20 minute wait today. And you can see these are all the folks going into Canada. Now if you notice right here, you'll see the United States of America flag and the Canadian flag. Throughout a lot of the Niagara area in the United States, you'll frequently see the Canadian flag. We're good, good neighbors, good friends, and I'm sure a lot of the businesses in the United States are owned by folks from Canada. But right now we are in the middle of the bridge. You can see the lines in the road. And now we are going to officially cross the border from the United States into Canada. See? United States, right in the middle, beautiful Canadian flag, and I have just walked into Canada. Uh, I'm still going to have to show uh, some ID though to get back. Remember, you are going to need your passport, even though I did show you I just walked right out of the country and I'm now officially in Canada, I am going to have to show uh, the passport.
Well, here's a shot. You can really see the difference between the United States and the Canadian side being more built up. Now, I've stopped a little bit to chat to you, but it's still going to be under 10 minutes to complete the walk across this bridge. Right now, it took us about six minutes to get to the Canadian side of the bridge. And here is the border checkpoint to get into Canada. and friendly if you take a look here in Canada you will see flying side by side the United States of America flag and the beautiful Canadian flag I would call that good neighbor policy Now you actually can, if you see all these tour buses, you could take tour buses, say from New York City, that will drive you across the border. And uh, here are some of the examples of buses just lined up to take folks into Canada from the United States, or possibly folks from Canada coming back from a trip from the United States. As the sign says, welcome to Canada. Well, here is the uh, checkpoint entry to get into the country. So I'm gonna have to stop filming here and uh, say, welcome to Canada, everybody.